Hello! Today I'll be talking about the Greek and Hindu creation myths about peacocks. In Greek mythology, Hera, queen of the gods and wife of Zeus, created the peacock. The myth starts with Zeus having an affair with a nymph named Io, who was also a high priestess of Hera. Hera was angered by this, and to protect Io from Hera's wrath, Zeus turned Io into a cow. However, Hera calls Zeus's bluff, asking for the cow as a gift, and Zeus gave Io to her. To guard Io, Hera had a giant with a hundred eyes named Argus keep watch, as he could always have some of his eyes open, even while sleeping. Meanwhile, Zeus was still determined to get Io back, and sent the messenger god Hermes to kill Argus. Hermes succeeded in putting Argus to sleep, and then proceeded to do his job. This is where we get two separate versions of the myth. In earlier versions, the peacock is born out of Argus's spilled blood, its tail featuring the 100 eyes of the slain giant. In later versions, Hera, in tribute to her fallen guard, gifts the peacock Argus's 100 eyes, giving the peacock tail that iconic look. As such, the peacock is Hera's sacred bird and was even said to pull her chariot. Moving on to Hindu mythology, the peacock has many myths attributed to it. The creation of peacocks starts with Vishnu, one of the three supreme Hindu deities in charge of protecting humans and restoring order. Vishnu rode on the wings of a mythical bird called the Garuda, who carried Vishnu through time in order to maintain balance. Vishnu then used the feathers from the Garuda to create the peacock. The peacock is typically depicted as fearless and not being held as constraints of time, as peacocks can be depicted killing snakes, a typical symbol for cyclic time. Peacocks are very interesting birds, with a lot of creative myths attributed to them, and I hope you had fun learning about a portion of the peacock's mythology. For anyone who would like to learn more, links are in the description. Thank you for watching!